Hey, Tony, can you have your load builder grab that double stickered unit of PSLs in the staging row and get it strapped down for the first load, second drop? Sure thing. You want it on a dump or a Moffet? Let's put it on the Moffet. Copy that. If you don't know what we just said, then stay tuned because today is Lumberyard Lingo 101. <laughs> Today we're at Par Lumber in Newburgh, and we're going to be covering some of the basic terminology that will help you to feel more comfortable the next time you're in a lumber yard. Yeah, for instance, I was just sitting in what we call dispatch. When you call in a delivery for some material, it goes to our dispatcher, and it's their job to put together the loads and put them onto the delivery trucks to get them to your job site. We should actually go take a look at some of the equipment that they use to get that job done. Let's do it. So we're standing in front of probably the most vital piece of equipment in any lumber yard. The forklift is used by a load builder. The load builder pulls the lumber, stacks it tightly in a neat little bundle, bands it, loads it on the truck for delivery. Let's go take a look at the truck. This is a Moffett truck. It's a delivery truck with a forklift on the back, sometimes called a piggyback or a forklift truck. We use a brand called Moffett, which is why we call it a Moffett truck. All of the material that's loaded on these is done with a forklift, and it's all unloaded and delivered with a forklift. We call this delivery truck a dump bed. It does not have a forklift on the back. This bed actually elevates up. The rollers can be locked or unlocked. Once unlocked, the material can roll straight off the back and right onto the ground. It does take quite a bit of skill to operate this truck. We're standing in the staging row. This is where the material that's been built with banding and stickers waits to be loaded on the truck and delivered to the job site. Well, there you go. We've just scratched the surface. So much terminology that we use in the lumber yard regularly that we want to be able to share with you so you can be more comfortable the next time you're in the lumber yard. We hope you found this video helpful. In future videos, we're going to be going over and digging deep into all kinds of lumber yard lingo. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. We'll see you next time.